Hopefully you grabbed your popcorn. It is time to flick this baby out of this box. Let's see what we got. Today I've got two $80 Toy USA Funko Pop damaged mystery boxes. So I actually haven't bought Toy USA for a while, at least I can remember. So I'm kind of excited to actually see what's in this because my favorite uh, mystery box, and if you want to get some of the higher end stuff, a possibility, like I like Toy USA. I've had luck with them in the past and I really enjoy their mystery boxes. So these were limited to 300 boxes limit of four per customer. We're going to do two in this video. So it's $80 and it has a guaranteed only $60 back in value. So every single box you can lose up to $20 every box. There's not a guaranteed full value. 300 boxes in total and the bigger hits, they've got like the metallic Dumbo, the Joker, then you've got uh, the metallic Genie. So there actually there are some pretty decent hits in here. You got some Elvira's, You've got uh, quite a few, so I'm gonna quit gabbing. We're gonna start cracking. So first box, I actually do this upside down because they should be like, you know, upside down in there. Usually how Toy USA does it. So we'll go through, we'll do one box, then we'll look at value for that box, see how much money I lost or how well I did. And then we'll do a second box. Oh. We got, <laughs> That was a, a bubble, but this one has a hard stack. So we'll say one for last, actually. We're not gonna do that one first. We're gonna do the hard stack last. So I got, oh, it looks like I got one of the top hits, I bet. Because from the picture, the top row is on hard stacks, and the second row is mostly in hard stacks. So looks like the top hits, they had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9. Look, looks like they had 20 pops that were in hard stacks from the picture. So they did 300 boxes. You pretty much had like a 10% chance of getting a hard stack. That one has a hard stack. We'll do that. We'll do that one last then. So we do this one first now. So it's the same thing. 80 bucks. I need to sharpen my knife. Upside down. Let's see what we got. Hopefully you have enough hard stack in here. And no, this time no hard stack. We have one in a soft protector. Let's go ahead, get this open, see what's in here. Okay, we'll do the protector one last. So pull up the first one, see which one it is. And this box is little, this box got damage to it. Back says Superman, it is Underground Toys exclusive. Man, you got like a sticker residue on the front of it. This whole side here on it is crunched. This one is damaged. Superman. Okay, next one. Back says Alice in Wonderland. We have Cheshire Cat. It's actually my little value to it. It has a little bit of like box damage. It actually is mostly just shelfware though. This one's not really that, that damaged. So that's actually not a bad one. Not a whole lot of damage on that one. Next one. The back says Incredibles 2. Elastic Girl Target Exclusive. We got a little bit of corner crunchage right here. Actually, all in all, not that bad a condition. Here we go. This one's in a soft stack. This will be the main hit. And this one, back says Lilo and Stitch. So we have the Overseas Sticker Special Edition Diamond. This is probably then going to be a hot topic originally. So we're looking at condition through this I don't see any damage on it looks pretty good let's see value on this first box this first one elastic girl is worth a whole six bucks target exclusive worth six dollars this thing I think new was like what nine that's actually worth less than what it even costs new next we got the Alice in Wonderland Cheshire cat it says it's actually still available uh, it's worth a whole 14 bucks no damage on this one. So since this is still available, then they actually could still make more. It was originally made in 2015. It is not vaulted, so Funko is known to turn the presses back on and start making pops again. So I wouldn't be too shocked if that comes back available eventually. On the Funko app, for some reason, I'm having trouble finding this thing. 
so I have to look for this thing later. But this box, this thing, it's pretty damaged. It's it's pretty jacked up box. I mean, you've got tape on the front, like old sticky residue. The whole side's crunched in over here. I mean, it's this box is pretty damaged. So I actually won't even look at value on this. I actually, for some reason, I I just can't find it. I probably just need to spend more time. It's got damage in the front. It's pretty. This thing's pretty bad shape. The Stitch Diamond Collection Hot Topic Exclusive came out back in 2017. It's worth about $37. So whenever you add in these three, it's $57. This one, if it wasn't damaged, it can't be much more like what, maybe $10, $15. This thing is this thing is jacked up. This box is beat. So I say this thing's probably worth no more than about five bucks. So I say all four of these pops are worth probably about $62 in total. So I had a guaranteed value of 60. So I did get my guaranteed value. So this first box, I lost money. But this other box though, there is a hard stack. And we're gonna do that one right now. We'll do the hard stack last. Keep that mystery going a little bit. Hard stack. Try not to do any peeking. We hit it one more time. This is in honor of everybody's favorite uh, popcorn channel. <laughs> grab, the, grab, the, grab the popcorn, everybody. Drama's about to start. First pop. The back of it says, it. Is this Beverly Marsh? Yes, it is. Beverly Marsh. I think this is actually vaulted now. I think it is. I could be wrong, though. Got the Beverly Marsh. Just a common, but possibly vaulted. Next one, number two. Back of it, I see a Harry Potter, but I don't think it's Harry. It is Tom, man, that box is crunched. Tom Riddle, Target exclusive. The top of that box, it's all smashed in. Big crease in the back of it. Wow, big crease in the bottom. This box, this thing is pretty beat up. So that will hurt value on this one just because the box is actually in pretty bad shape. But if you're an out of box kind of pop person, that one's gonna be perfect for you. Last one before the heart stack. The back says the crimes of Grindelwald. We've got Ma Ma Madigot. I've never seen this movie. I'm not too sure what this thing is. Obviously, it's a, a dog or a cat or a cat, lion, tiger, something. Box in this. A little bit of like shelfware, but it's not damaged though. So anyway, hopefully you, you uh, grabbed your popcorn. It is time to flick this baby out of this box. Let's see what we got. Okay, you ready? In three, in two, one. The back says Overwatch. Um, is this a grail? I don't even know. Soldier 76. Uh, Funko Blizzard Entertainment Exclusive. Came out in July of 2016. So I guess that's actually a grail. Let me see on the picture if that was top row or second row. It's down towards the bottom. Oh, so it looked like some of the ones at the bottom were in hard stacks too. So disregard. So it looks like more than just the top two rows are in hard stacks. Some on the bottom looks like just random ones were also in hard stacks. This is one of them. So let's see if I this thing. I have no clue if this is, a, if this is worth 10 bucks. Obviously it's in a hard stack, so it's probably at least 100 bucks because usually they don't put pops in hard stacks that are worth less than 100. First one, this is worth eight bucks. Whatever this thing is called, Matagot. It is vaulted. Next one, we got Tom Riddle. And this box, this thing is pretty thrashed. It says it's worth about $13, but uh, obviously you won't sell for 13 because the box is such bad shape. But we're gonna do the, you know, the, the full PPG Funko Up value. Next one, Beverly Marsh. This one is vaulted. It is worth the whole six bucks. There is a chase. The chase is also worth 30 and it is vaulted. So yeah, most of these it pops, I think most have been vaulted now. And a couple of them actually shot up in value, but Beverly has not shot up though. On the Funko app, this says it's only worth $55. Why is this in a hard stack for? It's only worth 55 bucks. So total value of box number two, even with the hard stack, 
is a whole $82. So I spent 80, got back 82. This one though is thrashed. So it probably only sold about five, six bucks. So I probably lost about eight bucks. This one. So actually technically I only got back maybe like $75 in value. So I also lost money on the second, on this box, even with a hard stack. Let me actually see condition of this thing. It actually might hurt the value of this thing more, depending on how damaged that this thing might, might be. Okay, we got a crease here on the side. This corner here is all crunched. Ooh, this top has a bad crease on the top of it, all the way across it. This guy's in, oh, they've got a crease on the back, crease on this side. This has got some damage. So if it sells for, for 55 in like mint condition, this one in this condition is probably worth no, no more than like maybe like 40 bucks. So you might be able to knock off like these and they're like $10 off that value. So I probably got back maybe like 65 in value. So between both boxes and combined, I probably lost at least $30 in total, maybe as, as much as 40. So not the best boxes. Actually, the best thing out of both boxes is actually just the hard stack, I think. <laughs> so, but that is the gamble of mystery boxes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And this time, I hit a hard stack and I still lost on both boxes when it's all said and done. So, uh, hope, hopefully your popcorn uh, wasn't burnt because this popcorn, man, this flicks is stale. <laughs>